What's going on, man? It's your boy Frank the Man, barber and cosmetologist, and you're watching the Frank the Man TV show. This is a channel where I teach you how to increase your income, increase your clientele, and of course, how to cut hair, new techniques, things you ain't never seen before. Stick around, and we'll jump right into the video. So before we start, I do want to say this video is sponsored by Filoso Barber Brand. We provide the sharpest, longest lasting, most consistent razor blade in the industry. So make sure you're supporting the link in the description below. And this is my brother here, and we're going to be doing a low taper. No, you good? No, you good? Oh, oh hell yeah. What? I forgot about these. Hey, now you good. He, he brought me some, uh, you know, unsponsored, you know, but it's all gravy. We're going to be doing a low taper with uh, a little bit of crap, crap action, right? Yeah. Okay, got you, got you. And uh, keep it low? Yeah, no. no. Uh, line up underneath and over or just over? Over. Over? Okay, got you. And uh, about how much are you thinking off the top? Just the tips? Okay, got you. Right, about a quarter inch. All right, so with that being said, we're going to be doing a low taper with a crop top on top. Just the tips. Let's get it. All right, you guys. So first things first, as you can clearly see, he has bed head. It is about nine in the morning here in Vegas. But before we do the fade, we have to debulk. I always run a number three on these low tapers. The three, I am connecting to the ear. You see that? Just like that, the number three. And then, in that number three, we clip her over comb. Going up fades the hair. All right, just like what we're doing with the number three, we're fading the hair right now. So going up fades the hair. This is my wall detailer, and I, I'm using it to create my first guideline. We're taking this right underneath here. Then we're gonna ha grab our handy dandy wall designer and we're gonna drop the lever all the way down from that first zero guideline, we're gonna create another guideline, which is a 0 0.5 guideline. There's our zero, there's a 0 0.5 guideline. And what we're gonna do is just, just touch it up just like that. Since this is a half, you would be using something maybe about right there, 0 0.3, 0 0.4. The higher you go up on the taper, the more the lever goes down. I'm gonna put my number one on, and, and pull the lever all the way up because this is a 0 0.5. I'm going to touch it with the number one. There it is. So we created this with a 0 0.5. The only thing that takes that out is a 0 0.5. And also number one does soften it as you've seen. Since this is a one and a half, above a one and a half is a two. What do you think about that in there? Is that low enough for you? Maybe a little bit higher. A little bit higher, too low? All right, too low, guys, too low. We're gonna bring this up a little bit higher. All right, we're gonna bring it up to our 0.5 guideline. There you go, right there. So I am pulling his ear down to line up around his ear, using only the corner of the detailer. Go to put your chin down for me. Thank you so much. And I always like to start right here. Keep it as natural as possible, and then work my way all the way down. And then don't be hard. You're cutting hair, you're not cutting skin, you know? So just keep it, keep it soft, keep it gentle. So again, same thing, you guys grab your number three, put it on whatever clip it is that you use, and bring it to the, his ear area, just like that, follow it. It keeps a nice shape and proportion and symmetry to his head. There you go. The reason why I always bulk first is because you can't fade what you can't see, right? So imagine if I just start putting my guideline in first with all this hair over it, it's gonna be hard and I'm always gonna bring the fade up a lot higher. Just like imagine this was a guard instead of a comb, I am fading the hair. So same thing here, we wanna bulk that hair and we wanna soften it. Make sure you get back here too. 
and whatever sticks out is what you cut. I'm holding the comb at a 30 degree angle, so something like this off his head. Obviously, it's not flat, you know, it's about, say this is his head, it's about right there, 30 degree angle. And of course, you guys, don't forget to like and subscribe, man. It helps me out a lot, so please, you know, hit that like button, drop a comment, that helps a lot as well, and make sure you are subscribed if you're watching me right now. I appreciate you guys, man. This one's gonna be a banger, yo. It's gonna be a banger. Wait till we get to the top. So he did, remember, he did want that taper a little bit higher. So again, I like to just chop that off too. I'm just following his natural hair growth pattern. That's the safest way to approach this, you guys. Shave right underneath it. About like a quarter inch right below it. And going side to side as we get higher. All right, so that is our zero guideline. This is our 0.5 guideline, which is our half guideline. This here is our one and a half guideline. His hair grows this way, so I'm cutting right against it. Whenever we cut hair, we're cutting against the grain when it comes to straight hair, right? All right, so now I am just softening that up. This is our zero guideline, remember, so I'm gonna use my zero. I'm gonna use the lever all the way open to soften that up a little bit. Drop it down. As I go higher, the lever drops. Remember, whenever you fade, and you're increasing your fade, you are dropping down the lever. What does that do? Pretty much what happens is here's a zero, here's a 0 0.5, zero, 0 0.5, zero, 0 0.1, two, three, four, and then finally five, right? So that's what we're doing. And that is a one and a half, so we're gonna use a number two with the lever all the way closed to soften this up here. We are doing the back now for my brother's hair. Oh Lord, his hair for some reason back here is so hard to cut. And you're gonna find out why. So he has this going on, right? This, 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 I don't, I don't know what's going on there. So I always go to that bald spot, just like that. And then plus also for his, his head shape, if you see, by the time I finish this taper, it's gonna be about right here, and this is gonna shoot up real nice. And you'll see exactly what I'm talking about in a little bit. So let's get right into it. And remember, we gotta put our line in. I'm being very gentle, very soft, because my brother does have sensitive skin, as do your clients. So remember, you are cutting hair, you are not cutting skin. So be gentle, y'all, especially around the neck area, back here and underneath here. So there's our zero guideline. Our 0.5 guideline, and here comes our one and a half guideline. Each guideline is about half an inch above zero, 0 0.5, one and a half. Half an inch from there, half an inch from there. So here we go. Let's soften it with one and a half. How do we soften it one and a half? With a number two all the way close. Let's chin down a little bit, there you go. All right, we're definitely gonna need a number three for this. Open it up all the way, just to be safe, so we don't keep bringing up the taper any more higher. You see all that hair that's bulky up right there? That's fine, just soften it up. All right, so this is our zero guideline. I'm using a zero to play that out. All right, that zero guideline is gone. Let's focus on our 0.5 guideline. I'm gonna put a number one on there, Close the lever all the way down and touch that up. Remember, whatever we use to create it is what we can use again to soften it up. If the above number isn't working, but in this case, it is working. So I'm gonna bring the lever slightly up because remember, as we go higher, the lever drops. It is now a 1.3. And he has these dips to here, here, and here. So what do we do for that? We use our corners. Corners. All right, guys, we're going to start with the top now. What are we going to be doing with the top? We are going to be trimming just the tips. 
and adding a lot of texture. All right, of course, wet the top. For the texture, I'm gonna be using the one and only Filoso Barber brand razor blade, right? So let's get it. So this is our razor company, you guys. We have Merch, we have razors, we have shave gel, aftershave, all of those things are coming along with Nexus. So make sure you check in the link in the description below. Support by buying any of the above that I just mentioned and we would love you forever. And thank you so much. It's a new barber brand that's coming out. So we can't wait to see all the supporters, the brand ambassadors, all the barber supply stores. So I appreciate you guys, man. Let's get it. All right. So again, damp the hair, very important. And my brother already has a lot of texture, but it's been a bit, what, about a month since I cut your hair? So yeah, and that's safe. You don't want to add texture to hair with uh, more than twice a month, more than once a month because bro, trust and believe me, you're gonna find out why, so don't do it. Just pick up a little bit of hair, just like that. Away from me, not forward, just like anything if you're cutting, you know, with the cuchillo, cutting tomates, tomatoes, cucumber, you don't cut towards you, you know what I'm saying? So cut away from me. That's all I'm doing, just grabbing, adding texture, just like this. The texture doesn't remove any length, it just removes weight. And of course, add texture. All right, would you look at that. There we go, that's it. That's it, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Line them up. Now we're gonna add our product to give it that taquache crop top look that everybody loves right now. All right, and that is gonna be in the link in the description below. That is a product that we will be carrying, so make sure you get it in the link in the description below. I need it to be wet. So if you can't blow my hair, that is not wet. There we go. This product does go, does go a long way, so you don't want to use a lot. Again, it is in the link in the description below. Adds a lot of texture, adds a medium hold, little to no shine once it is dry. And do I absolutely love it. Alright, we're on this, sir. Please throw it. Alright, then we're gonna do Peace. Damn, I made him on light. I mean it's all gravy. Thanks so much for watching. This concludes our haircut. If you haven't already liked, if you haven't already commented, if you haven't already, please subscribe and of course to support our brand. You guys are putting a lot of time, a lot of effort, and of course a lot of upfront money to you know start our, our dream of having our razor company all over the world and every single barber brand and known as an international barber brand for barbers just like you and barber connoisseurs all over the world. Thanks so much for watching. Peace. Damn, that was good. That was good. All right, man. Thank y'all. Peace.